Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Prismata. Let's jump back in the queue and see who we run into. Capulet Killer versus Electo, that's probably a pretty strong game. Mostly because of Electo, I mean no offense Capulet Killer, uh, but Electo is in like the Prismatic League, the highest of the league uh, brackets this season. Oh my god, what is this, some sort of Galani game with what's the synergy that he's excited about? Is it just Vores or something else? Surely it's not just drones, right? This is not a million drones set without Galvani. So... I guess he... I don't get it. Yeah, so he thinks this is a dead eye set because of Centurion, I guess. I would have thought that like Ferals and Vores and Tia would be enough to make that not so great. So this is like a this is a blitz game. We're probably gonna this game's gonna be over fast enough that we'll match with one of them. No, I guess not. The other game we could have watched has just finished apparently. Ninja Assassin X Y Z. Base plus 10, 60 seconds. Hmm. I see a fair amount of defense in like grid and grid, uh, but also a lot of freeze for it with um, ice blade and uh, frostbite. Uh, I don't understand what these emotes mean. Um, so like, I can you get savior? I feel like you should lose if you get savior, right? There's decent soak in like infusion grid. Infusion Grid is a good savior enabler. I just think that Ice Blades and Flame Animus are gonna make that be a problem, and like, maybe Hannibal? I don't know, maybe Savior's actually just good here? If you can get a Grid? Like, a, just an Infusion Grid is maybe enough. Build a few of those, and then, like, what? There's nothing, there's no really fast attackers here. Um, Hannibal's fast ish, but I don't know. I'm still not sure what to do this set. So he wants the Hannibal, or the, mm, the savior, I think. Says defense grid and infusion grid are enough. So, the question is, like, can we rush this down somehow with Ice Blades? <clears throat> I don't think so. Like, I, I think you actually just get the savior here, right? You can get Savior deep behind, like, a grid or a, a grid, like, is amazing, right? Hmm. And I, I don't think there's enough here to punish it in time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow with the, the third NG here. Uh, and we're not getting a conduit, correct? Because next turn we want to spend 15 on Savior and a bunch of drones. It's gonna be a game and a half, guys. Buckle up. Blast Forge is fine. I'd love to get, like, a Flame Animus so I have a little bit of tech when the Savior gets here. Next turn we can pick up a Grid. Infusion Grid. Although, honestly, it depends. I guess he's building a Flame Animus and, like, a Grid will be fine. 
It might be a little bit too early. It might be better to just get some more tech. I think it will be, because with Flame Man, with uh, Savior, you really want to be able to spend some tech, right? You, you have a, spend your money, right? You have a million income per turn. And uh, this way, at least we can build like something good. What on earth are we getting next turn? Probably two Forges. A Tarsier is the best we can do with the red. That's 14. Oh my gosh, what all tech do I need? Like, I kind of want a grid, but he's not going to have an attacker coming in for two more turns, so I can wait, actually. So, two Tarsier, uh, Tarsier grid, two Forges. And probably like an Animus or something? Maybe just a third forge. I, you need some drones, right? So there's only one left, though. And we're getting plasma fire. Oh, right. He's gonna have a plasma fire next turn. This actually should be a grid, uh, so that he can't like threaten to kill me when I build the stuff I want to build. Can we actually get the hand, the, the the defense grid is the thing. Like, it's insanely good, and you have to get it. I'm just not sure what you have to do to make that happen. Because he's going to be threatening, like, 10 damage, probably? Yeah, call it 10. Um... So, maybe actually just a Hannibal is good? As like preemptive soak before the the grid arrives, but then he can just exploit it once I have the grid up. So it doesn't seem so great. But ten damage I can handle with just a grid, right? So maybe something like this. And what do I want to be spending my blue on after? Like, honestly, I'd kind of like to spend it on boreholes and grids. All right, so he's going to be threatening, looks like about 9, maybe 10. Um, we have enough, but one or two engineers are a good safety margin, I guess. And I'll, yeah. Like, he's not really clicking this this turn. He's going to do no damage, right? Maybe just one NG, and then I could get a fourth forge? Is that useful? Probably not. Probably three is enough. Alright. Let's try something like this. I don't know if this is for Thunderhead or for Patrollers, but they're both good, so... Sign me up. And, you know, force fields if we get to that point in the game. Uh, are we attacking with the Plasma Fire? Clearly not. It mostly gets absorbed by his Infusion Grid. Savior games are like, I'm glad it's 60 seconds, is all I have to say. Like, I wouldn't mind 90. These games are so, there's so many decisions to make. Ooh. I don't know. Like, you already have a lot of tech, and with Plasma Fires, your tech amount is going down, right? So... So do I need this engineer? I actually kind of don't. I could float the money, right? I could get some more tech, but I think just buying Gauss Cannons is good. So maybe I shouldn't have bought this engineer. I was I was a little more worried than I needed to be about him attacking. Um, 
If I'd saved this, I could have gotten another conduit or something. Is it worth attacking next turn? A lot of the damage gets absorbed. The plasma fire damage, I mean. So maybe the gas cannons weren't so great. Yeah, see, I think he... Well, I don't know. I guess Borehole is a good green sink. Maybe, yeah. Maybe he can actually spend all this tech for a little while. That's pretty scary. So one plasma fire click just kills an engineer, but the next one kills like an infusion grid, basically. Jesus Christ. So much damage. Uh, do I need this? I could build a corpus instead. I think this is fine. I guess I should have built some more engineers, huh? So this is trading, what, two drones to deal five damage? No, to deal six damage. This kills two engineers. This kills a grid. That's fine, I think. It's better than wasting four damage, I think. I want to get started, like, make him stop pressuring me so much. Oh, I should have gotten a Hannibal! What was I thinking? Instead of Splitter Tarsier, Hannibal's amazing! I mentioned it earlier, but I forgot all about it. Or instead of, like, Tarsier Grid or something. Should have clicked all of these, right? Doesn't he just lose a shitload of Plasma Fires now? Right now he can keep at most two Plasma Fires alive if he loses the grid. And he's also losing like these attackers, so he's losing like... At least five damage, probably more. Not Ice Blade. Um, although it would be an interesting way to freeze. Yeah, Ice Blade's actually fine. Um, no, I, I, I'd rather have the borehole to protect myself a bit, you know? Because it, Ice Blade and the two Frostbites threatens to freeze the grid. Am I wrong here? He's losing, like, probably nine damage. But in the absolute worst case, just five? Yeah. This is fine. And he's probably clicking even less of it, right? Because of the Hannibals. Like, you don't build Plasma Fires as Soak. They're damage. Does he think he can outlive my Plasma Fires with his Hannibals and just not click the Plasma Fires? That would be quite a... quite an approach. But I can just exploit his Hannibals and attack... like, not waste attack on his defense grid. Like, I don't know exactly what all the numbers come out to, but it seems like that would be a good thing to do. That way I can keep some more drones.
There. That's pretty good. I don't know if I want two Hannibals. No, Ice Blades have the same problem as Hannibals. They can exploit it. So maybe I shouldn't get either and just get, like, four holes and another Frostbite? 29 out of 51 is keeping... 21. That's easily all the Plasma Fires and the Patrollers, so this looks fine. I wish I could get a Corpus at some point. How would I fit that in? I don't think I really can. Okay. Oh! Thunderhead, what? That's pretty cool, I guess. But I can continue to frontline exploit, I think? Well, not so easily. I don't know if I... I should have clicked the savior, probably. I forgot to do it. It might conceivably have been a good play to not click, but I didn't do it on purpose. Um, getting another four threat would be pretty cool. much going on in Savior games. Yep, looks good. Um, this is keeping 20 health alive. That's all my plasma fires and most of this stuff. Um, and that assumes he clicks everything, which, like, let's be honest, he probably won't. So, what if I just get Hannibal's... Or, two Hannibal's is probably... Two is probably fine. Um, and then I can... Ah, no, if I cut one, I can get a Corpus, which will give me something to do with my red. These two la last two boreholes, and then, um... Click the Savior, I guess? Let's just double check here. We're keeping 23 health alive. That's all the saviors. Most of the attackers, but not all. And that requires him to actually click everything, which is pretty hard for him to do. How are we economically? He's up a tiny bit, but not by much. I did click a few plasma fires, it's true. So we're over the absorb barrier here, and we might as well just let loose, right? How much is he losing here? He's keeping 19 health alive. That's 12, 16. So he has to lose one attacker if I do this. Not much, but not nothing. I think five plasma fires is plenty. Um, do I want to freeze anything? I could freeze the grid, but I'd rather save these for like the turn the grid's going down, ideally. Honestly, clicking all these plasma fires doesn't do that much. 
it's over the absorb barrier, but it's not killing anything important, and it is killing my drones. So... Let's cut the wall and build a borehole. And cut this wall and build a grid. If he wants to click everything to kill my savior, a couple of plasma fires, I guess that's not the end of the world for me. I should have tried to squeeze in another... I wanted to get another Frostbite in, so that I could do enough to freeze his grid this turn and next turn. But I couldn't quite do it. Also, I should have gotten a Hannibal instead of this Corpus grid. There's just so much going on in Savior games that I couldn't really keep it all straight. I feel like he should be swinging more because it could kill my controllers. So if we do this, and freeze the grid, and build a, an ice blade so we can freeze it again next turn, what all is he losing? He gets to keep 15 health alive. So he's losing at least a plasma fire and like all of this. That seems clearly worth, right? Yeah. Um. Plasma Fire and like 8, so he's losing around 12 damage, although I'm not sure that's exactly correct. So I think I will build... I'll click this Corpus, I guess, and then... This Corpus? I don't know. This one. Um, that leaves me a little bit of flexibility, although not, it must be said, a lot. Okay, so we think he's losing at least... 11 damage. He has 57 threat. Uh, uh, cut one of these to build a force field because I'm not totally sure. I did cut it pretty close there uh, in terms of health and in terms of time. He somehow didn't lose a bunch of patrollers? I'm not sure how, what happened there. Did he lose more plasma fires than he had to? I think so. I'm so glad I have this Hannibal. <laughs> I would be in a lot of trouble without a Hannibal on the front line next turn, I think. And I think we're probably swinging with all the Plasma Fires again, since... Yeah, since it kills all of his attackers, basically. All his front line, everything except the Tarsiers. And ice blades, of course. He should have clicked these pixies a long time ago. Um, I don't know if they would have killed any attack, but it doesn't hurt to click them since he's over the absorb barrier anyway. And if it does kill any attack, it's a great benefit to you. Yeah, looks good. I could consider losing the grid since he's just going to freeze it, but I'm pretty sure that's silly. He would just freeze something else and I'm under a similar amount of pressure. So here we go. He's losing everything but at most a plasma fire and a patroller, right? So that's 8, 12, 
He's losing at least 18 damage, so we're defended already. At least 12, I said? So this click is actually no good. Sure. I'll hold it just in case. I think I could get away with it, but I don't need to. Like, I'm kind of shocked that... Oh, actually, also holding back the Steel Splitter saves a health because it's my Absorber. That's a funny coincidence. I'm kind of shocked that he's hanging on as well as he is. Like, I guess it's because he hasn't been clicking Plasma Fires, and my Plasma Fires mostly haven't been killing anything super important. He's just been using Savior as, like, a builder of 4 health soak. And our attacks are not that dissimilar, actually. Like, I don't know. I thought I was miles ahead. But I'm starting to have second thoughts about that. I don't know. I mean, like... So what if I just, like, kill the Ice Blades and then nothing else this turn? It sort of looks like I overdid it in terms of defending, I guess. I could actually click all these, but what does it do? Not much. I can't buy any drones. I wish I could. Um, so these are mostly defenders now, which I guess is another reason that the defense grids were bad. And I should just be buying more attack, I guess? I think it was good to go in with the Plasma Fires last turn, but I, I messed up in the way that I bought my defenses. I bought, bought too much and it should have been more attack. so many walls still. I don't know. I'm I'm flummoxed. He's doing similar amounts of damage and has more drones. Like what can you say? And he's building more attack than I am. He's under a lot of pressure, but he's handling it well. Could I get a Thunderhead? Oh, if I hadn't bought this Frostbite, I could have. Well, that's something to keep in mind for next turn, I guess. Thunderhead next turn, I guess, is what I'm buying.
this guy? I don't know. I guess he's not adding that much more attack than I am. But... He's doing more damage. And I have these plasma fires sitting here doing nothing. I guess I just, like, built too many. The funny thing is, he's built more than I have because he's used them as defense. This relieves so much pressure from him, though, right? Like, what if I did this? It's pretty bad for me, I think. I need a little granularity, at least one turn's worth. And then he just comes in and kills everything, right? I'm shocked. Hmm, I guess if, well, how many plasma fires can he actually click? I guess this many, right? One? But I'm losing a shitload of attack. I think he could click more if he wanted. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna lose. I guess I've just never played a Plasma Fire game that went so long that using Plasma Fires as soak was a good idea. <laughs> I just I just don't know, guys. Like this is the end of my life. I don't even know what's a a reasonable emote here. Uh, there we go. Drones are overrated. Yikes! So, like, I guess this tells the story of the, my decline. He managed to hang out here while the defense grid was building saviors, basically. And I was wasting my drones on short-term gains. I feel like I had the advantage... ...early, but I guess part of the reason I thought I had the advantage was because I killed his plasma fires. But apparently, this was the wrong idea. Yeah, like, this plasma fire click didn't really do much. I don't... Yeah. Huh. Well, okay. I guess... I mean... Obviously, clicking drones to deal 4 damage is usually pretty good, in general. Um, in Savior games, it's less good because your drones are twice as good, um, and so you're more inclined to want to keep them. But it's also, like, pretty good because if you can... In a Savior game, you often can very soon threaten to breach your opponent because you're adding so much attack uh, so quickly, right? And so the short-term pressure is well worth it. Um, however, I guess this was an ev a particularly slow savior game because there's just so much soak, right? Like, I normally think of the reason that savior is good is because, like, you want soak to consider the non-mirror, right? Where one player gets savior and the other doesn't. You need soak to let yourself, like, survive the early turns while Savior is still coming online. Um, 
And so I had been thinking of it in that way. Um, but also, like, in the mirror, the more soak there is, the longer the game will go on, right? Of course. You both have a ton of money, and if there's good soak, you can both buy a lot of it. And that... Since the game is going on longer, plasma fire clicks are worse, right? Even if you're killing an enemy plasma fire, it's one they didn't really want to click anyway. Like, I thought I wanted to, but I was wrong. Um, my opponent was, like, absorbing for 10 every turn, right? With this defense grid and plasma fire. Like, you can pretend, if you like, that the savior is producing 4 health a turn, and the defense grid is producing 6 health a turn. And this isn't really absorb, I guess, because if I don't kill it, it stays alive, but... He's producing 10 health a turn, right? 6 from the grid and 4 from the saviors. And that's, like, just for free. Not even counting the $40 per turn he's making, right? Um, so that means the game is going to go on for a very, very long time. And Plasma Fire Clicks need to be relatively close to threatening a breach in order to be good. And once or twice I felt like I was close. Like the time I made him lose all his plasma fires, I was like, this is it, GG, right? But, you know, and, and for another thing, it takes some pressure off of me. I don't have to build as much defense because he's not threatening as much with saviors. With plasma fires. Um, but I'm not at all close to threatening a breach because of the Hannibals coming in. Which means the game's going to keep going on, which means that just like... Defending and building attackers is going to be better than set selling your drones to deal damage. And I think that that, like, all of these turns where I clicked Plasma Fire were wrong. Like, every single time. It just didn't do enough. And you'll notice, he never clicked his. He was just accumulating them as, like, giant shredders, right? They're there to play around threat and to create threat. Um, well, that was really cool. Uh, I, I learned a lot this game, I think. I hope. Um, and Savior games are always interesting. This one went quite long. Uh, so we are just going to fit this one game in this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.